What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So today I'm gonna make a video on how you can choose a college that's the perfect fit for you. And the reason I decided to make this video is I noticed a lot of the people making videos about how to choose a college are people who haven't even gone to college yet. So they don't know whether they made a good decision or not. And I've gone through the whole education system all the way from undergrad to getting my doctorate, going to grad school. And so I know which choices that I made were good and which ones were not so good. And I've also gotten a lot of different feedback from friends who went to different types of universities and did some good things, made some mistakes. And so today I'm just gonna offer you guys some practical advice that'll probably end up saving you some serious cash in the future. And hopefully it'll also help you find the best fit for you. And this is the type of video that I really recommend you don't click out out of because it's going to make all that time that you wasted on YouTube completely worth it. Which means that all the cat videos you watched, all the 1000 degree knife challenge videos you watched, all the drama videos you watched, all of those videos will be worth it just because you happen to stumble upon this one video. I can almost guarantee you that you haven't heard these tips anywhere else. These might end up saving you tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes even more, sometimes even six figures. So just go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy. And by the way, I'm gonna be making a video here pretty soon on how to get college paid for so that you can graduate completely debt-free. So stay around for that. So it's that special time in your life where you're trying to figure out what you're going to do for the rest of your life and you are deciding which university that you're going to go to. This is one of the most important and also one of the most stressful situation and there are a few tips and secrets that will pretty much guarantee that you make the right decision for you. So I think that there is a ton of misinformation out there and looking back on my decision, there are a lot of things that I would have done differently if I knew what I knew now. But before I start breaking this down, I think it's important to distinguish between the different types of colleges and why those differences matter. So the first one on this list is a type of university that you should just never go to, and those are the for-profit universities like University of Phoenix or DeVry. I mean, you've probably heard of this already. There's tons of horror stories online of people who get their degrees here and then nobody will hire them or like nurses who got a degree and they never spent a single second in a hospital or a clinic or anything like that. These universities are way more expensive than they should be and you don't really get very much for the education. The education isn't very, very good. So let me make myself very, very clear. Never ever go to a for-profit university. Ever. They are a scam. So the next one on the list is definitely not a scam and that's going to be a community college or a junior college. And these are colleges that are very, very cheap that you can go to for your first two years or so after high school. And you can take all of the general classes that you would have to for a degree. And then you transfer all of those general units to a bigger university or college in order to get your four year bachelor's degree. And these colleges are great because the class sizes are usually a lot smaller so you get more more one-on-one -on -one time with the professors. And then another thing that's great is the professors are full-time teachers, whereas at a lot of universities, they're researchers that do a little bit of teaching on the side. Now, the next one on the list is gonna be state colleges and some famous universities that you could include here would be you know, UCLA, University of Michigan, and my alma mater, KU. And these universities are gonna be funded by the state and they are pretty cheap as long as you actually live in the state and so therefore you pay in-state tuition. But even if you live out of the state, there's ways of getting around this where you can still pay in-state tuition. You just have to get a little bit creative with it and if you guys want me to make a video on that, I can do that, just let me know. So next on the list is gonna be private nonprofit universities like MIT, Harvard, Yale, Princeton, a lot of the different Ivy League universities. Now, now these schools are obviously going to dominate the national and international rankings and of course they're going to be a lot more expensive than state schools but What's really good about these is there's also a lot more scholarships that they offer. So the sticker price is actually gonna be a little bit lower than what it appears to be. Now, two things that people don't really talk about a lot with these types of universities is one, it's really difficult to transfer your credits. So a lot of the time you might decide to go to a different university afterwards and you may not be able to transfer your credits to that different college. And then the second thing that people don't talk about is you have less rights when you go to a private university than if you went to a state school. So they can kick you out for basically any reason. And that's just something you should probably be aware of. So going back to my story, 
I went straight from high school to a state university and luckily I knew exactly what I wanted to do and I stuck with it all the way through. And this doesn't happen for most students because a lot of them end up switching majors several times. And I did a video on how to pick your major a few weeks back so you can check that out right here. So the first thing that I would have changed is I would have went to a community college for the first two years. This would have saved me a ton of money and the community college experience is just pretty much straight up better in general for someone who's coming right out of high school. And honestly, most people don't know what their major is going to be, or if they do, they end up changing it. So it's a good idea to just take all of your general classes at a much cheaper rate at a community college than if you went to a state school or a private school. Now, the next thing I did after I was done with KU is I went to a very expensive, uh, private pharmacy school. And I had a lot of great experiences here. I think I got a very good education here, met you know, lifelong friends. I'm not complaining about that at all, but it was very expensive and it was accelerated. So I did save a year, but the price simply was not worth it. And I think it was a big mistake. Now coming out of college, your situation might be a little bit different than mine. Um, I never applied to Ivy League schools or anything like that. If you have an opportunity to go to an Ivy League school, I would say absolutely take that opportunity, even though they're very, very expensive. The clout is real. And the doors that'll open if you go to an Ivy League school are definitely worth it. And this is especially true if you go to an Ivy League school or one of the top colleges for your particular major. So for instance, if you went to Wharton School of Business and you're planning on being a business major, that would absolutely be worth it. The problem here is, is most people absolutely don't know what they want to do. So for those people, I recommend just going to community college as you can always transfer to Ivy League school later on. And the only important thing here when you're going to community college is you do need to make sure that your credits transfer. So before you decide which one to go to, you want to actually call the college and make sure that they accept those credits from the community college that you're thinking about going to. So let's go over a scenario where, you know, you could save a lot of money. So I'm going to put up on the screen here what you'd expect to pay at the average, you know, community college, state college, nonprofit, um, and for-profit university. This is just an average. There's going to be a lot of variation here, but let's say that you went to a private nonprofit university for four years, that would be around $130,000. Contrast this with you going to a community college for two years, which would be around $7,000 each year, and then a state college for two years, which would be around $19,000, and the total would be around $26,000 instead of $130,000. And as you can see, this would save you literally over $100K. And by the way, I'm thinking about doing a video on how to pay for college with little to no debt. So let me know if you guys want me to do that down in the comment section. But Shane, isn't the education better at private universities? Now you might be thinking that the education that you get at private universities is better than one that you'd get at a community college or a state college. Nope. Not necessarily. But what about jobs? Don't you get paid more if you graduate from a private university? Yes, this is actually true. You get paid about 7% more and it varies depending on the university, but generally you're only going to get paid more if you graduate from an elite university. So really prestigious one in whatever major that you pick. It honestly does not make much of a difference in the real world unless you go to a top tier school. In that case, it does. So just to summarize the whole video, if you have an opportunity to go to a very prestigious school for your major, then absolutely take it. But if it's not one of the top tier, like best top five schools, then the best option for you is to just go to a community college first and then transfer to either a prestigious school or just transfer to the cheapest state school that you can. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Go ahead, smash that like button and click subscribe so you won't miss any new videos.